Hello and welcome back to another video by myself, Samuel Shepard, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the 88 rated Team of the Season Nemanja Nikolic from the MLS Team of the Season. I've been looking forward to using this card ever since I saw the stats on the 84 in the form that he got uh, from his performance against the New England Revolution a couple weeks back. That card looked pretty overpowered, so when I saw that he was going to be named to the MLS All-Star Team, I knew that his Team of the Season card was going to be amazing, so I held off. So I hopped on my friend's account and uh, bought Nikolic for around 35k and I used him in two squads, a Spanish squad where I replaced Alvaro Morata on the right striker position and uh, in a German squad with Sané and Royce where I replaced Timo Werner and used him up top with Alex Meyer. Before we look at the gameplay I want to get into a few of his key stats. Nikolic has 99 positioning, 99 finishing. 94 balance, which is good for a big player. He's got 96 strength, 93 jumping, 99 heading. So his card, while being only 5'11", has a lot of the traits of a big striker, um, which could be a problem. You know, strikers like Adarese usually don't benefit from being a little bit shorter than like Meyer or Peter Crouch or Traore or Ibrahimovic. But his stats, other than the height, look like they are going to be almost overpowering. So let's see how they do in the daily knockout tournament. Yeah, in this game, the guy didn't really want to play, so I just decided to put one in with Nikolic. That's a tidy little finish on his four-star weak foot. Two-star skills was a little shaky. Usually I use players with uh, at least three or four, but Nikolic showing a little bit of dribbling there, and he is clean through, and he finishes on his right with a low driven past the goalkeeper. And that was his first real goal in the game where someone was actually playing. Just a tidy little finish. Uh... Gundawan feeding Nikolic through again, pretty much the same as the last goal, just a little through ball. And he's just fast enough that you can kind of use those through balls uh, like he was Messi or someone quick. Uh, he's just fast enough to do that, and he's got good enough dribbling to sort of beat the first man with a little bit of a control stick juke. His, pre his free kicks were pretty good too, he hits the bar there, but later in the uh, gameplay we'll see a better one from him. There's a good little pass through to Meyer, Meyer into Nikolic, Nikolic turning around, gets lost a little bit, and then finds it himself, Gundawan with a scoop turn, and that was his only assist that uh, he got in the five games that I played with him. Uh, here's Meyer, Meyer into Gundawan, Nikolic through, beats DeMarcos, and through the legs of Ederson, I believe, with his left foot. Not the best finish, but you know, they all count. Yep, there it is. Meyer to Gundawan through to Nikolic, and there's a that was a low driven between the legs of Ederson's 79 card. Goalies weren't the best that I faced, but here's Nikolic again. Goalkeeper didn't react there. I think that one's all black. Didn't react to that one, and that was a low driven on his right. There's Alonzo into Nikolic. Nikolic beats the first man, and he puts that in the very bottom corner with a low driven. His low drivens were absolutely deadly during this tournament. He easily was the one scoring the goals for my team. He, I wasn't making a point to feed him the ball until the very end, but he was doing very well with it. This goal was kind of junk. Uh, I was just mashing the B button, hope, hoping he would shoot it, and he kind of hit like a weird half volley that uh, found its way past All Black. I didn't feel very good about that one, but it completed his hat trick in this game. And this was the last game that I played. Put him over there on the free kick, and he uh, smashes that one past the keeper. Uh, his free kicks were actually very good. His accuracy isn't the highest, but his curve, I think he has 91 curve and 96 shot power, so that's a pretty good uh, option for free kicks if you don't have a free kick taker on your team, especially if you're making an MLS team, but I guess you would have Giovinco in that case. And Isco going through, finds Nikolic, turns Bailly, and there's the finesse shot. His finesse shots are good too. Like I said, 91 curve with the 99 finishing. Finishes that one fairly easily. He's going a nice ball through. He holds off two challenges, calmly rotates, and deposits that past Butland. Yeah, and in this game, this guy got pretty mad because this was the final, and he got Bailly sent off with 40 minutes to go, and that's when uh, I knew that Nikolic was going to uh, pound in a few more. There's a nearer near post header on the uh, on the corner. His heading was actually very, very good. Uh, usually I like a, a tall striker like Anthony Martial or uh, Cavani to win headers off of goal kicks and other stuff like that. But Nikolic at 5'11", he was doing a really good job. 
uh, of winning those headers and even being a threat on corners. And here's another goal from Nikolic, just some passing between him and David Villa and uh, just a, a calm finish. And here's one, he sent the keeper out and there's really one option, it was the chip. A pretty good one. And you're going to see one more chip here. Ramos with the long well through. And uh, Nikolic from literally nowhere with his weak foot. I was really impressed with Nikolic. He scored 12 goals and had one assist in five games, but one wasn't really a full game because I just sort of put the controller down when I realized that that wasn't playing. So 11 goals in four games with six coming in the last game. And uh, we won the daily knockout tournament with two squads that I don't believe are the best. Sorry, Lucho. But uh, overall, I think for around 35k, Nikolic is a very good option if you're going to start an MLS team but I don't think you can fit him into too many squads with uh, players that are not MLS team of the seasons. But if you are looking for a good option for an MLS team, I think Nikolic, much like he's doing for the Chicago Fire, would be one of the best MLS options. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, do whatever you gotta do. Thanks. Have a good one.